coming up, a family saga set in the American West. A story about heroes and monsters in Victorian London. Plus our distraction of the week. I'm Mel. I'm Dave. This is the Library of Lost Time. This week, I'm looking forward to reading Woman of Light by Kali Fajardo Anstein. The author is of indigenous Chicano heritage, and you might know her story collection, Sabrina and Karina. It was a National Book Award finalist. In this new novel, she again draws on her heritage for a story set in the American West. She says it's a love letter to her ancestors. It revolves around Luce and her family's Wild West show, where Luce enchants clients with her ability to read tea leaves. Her brother is a charmer of both snakes and women. When he's run out of town, Luce is left to fend for herself in 1930s Denver, and her visions take on a new significance. Woman of Light is out now. This week, new to the top of my TBR is Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Miro. This is a fantasy set in Gaslit, Victorian London in 1882. There are two mysterious children. One of them has a body that heals itself, and the other shines a bluish light. So cool. Yeah. They are joined by Alice Quick, who's a jaded American detective who works for a mysterious agency. Together, they face monstrous beings intent on ushering in a terrifying future. The atmosphere is rich and gothic. The story is involving and a little long. It's over 600 pages. One of the blurbs calls it the Penny Dreadful to end all Penny Dreadfuls. Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Miro is out now. And now our distraction of the week. Here's an idea to make your summer a little more fun. There's a rodeo, especially for readers. It's the Typewriter Rodeo, a collective of four writers in Austin, Texas, who compose one-page poems on demand. You give them a topic and they dash off a poem on the spot on their vintage typewriters. Dressed in Western shirts and cowboy boots, they kind of look like a band until you see the typewriters and hear the clickety-clack of the keys. Each of the writers has a favorite portable. One favors a 1928 Remington, another the Royal Quiet Deluxe from 1954. The click of keys and the act of committing words to paper is charmingly retro and leads to poems that cover a wide emotional territory. Some make you laugh out loud. Others, like a recent poem about a shooting in Texas, will move you to tears. Since they started in 2013, they've written more than 25,000 poems for people all over the country. If you'd like to experience the typewriter rodeo, you can hire them for a fundraiser, a wedding, and, and other events. Or you can pick up their book. It's a collection of their poems with really sweet photos. You can also listen to their weekly two-minute podcast that features one poem about a newsy topic. Visit strongsenseofplace.com slash library for more about the books we discussed and the delightful typewriter rodeo. Thanks for joining us in the Library of Lost Time. Remember to visit your local library and your independent bookstore to lose some time yourself. Stay curious. We'll talk to you soon.